that you were Wollenheimer's connection to the USC when you met him at the beginning of the Porth Negus project. Uh, yes sir, that would be correct. And it didn't cross your mind that all these connections could pose a conflict of interest? Well, sir, I was under the impression that Morlenheimer had given up his ties to the USSC long ago, and therefore would not have any qualms about serving our country. And you were aware that Dr. Morlenheimer visited the Pringaloid Pile 1 reactor on the 4th of Krell Basin? Yes, sir. And you didn't deem it necessary to alert the rest of the National Atomic Force Council? Well, sir, from what I was told by uh, uh, Colonel Randolph, uh, the visit was strictly to assess their progress, and nothing more. Mr. Pringle, do you know who was there at the site and time of the detonation? No, sir, I do not. Well then, how can you be absolutely certain that there were no agents of the USSC at the detonation? Well, we had rigorous background checks and a tight system of security overseen by Colonel Randolph, as you well know. You had background checks, yet you admitted a known communist into the project. Mr. Pringle, be clear with me here. Can you tell us with definite that there were no communist agents at the detonation? No, sir, I cannot. Last question, Mr. Sprinkle. Did Dr. Wollenheimer say anything to you after the test of the little febrile nuclear device? Uh, yes. He told me, and I quote, that we were at a risk of a war so devastating that it would put the trenches of a million to shame. Well, what did he mean by that, Mr. Pringle? Well, sir, he means that now we have a bomb, the USSC will have no choice but to build one as well. He told me, sir, that we should quit while we're ahead. And your opinion, Mr. Pringle? Well, sir, there is no doubt that the USSC will try to build their own bomb. There is no doubt that they will try to construct a stockpile to outnumber ours. There is only one thing that we can do to make sure that no matter how many of our bombs the USSC has, we will always have the upper hand in any future conflict. And what would that be? Well, sir, that would be the hydrogen bomb.